afternoon, everyone, and happy Vlogmas seven, eight, I think. I honestly I wouldn't have no idea what day it is. Yesterday, I was like super, super busy, and so I didn't get to vlog, so I'm vlogging today, and Connor is still um, underway, but he's gonna be home this evening and so I wanted to make us like a holiday crock pot dinner and so I looked on Pinterest at some recipes and I figured I would also kind of show you guys this recipe that I'm doing so that's what we're doing today also hey cuckoo head so we cuckoo head stop he stole your toy That's your fault, you dropped it. You have to share, gotta share. Share. So we have, I was about to say until Samuel rudely interrupted me, we have a new friend with us today who almost looks exactly like Samuel. He's a pit lab mix. He's mad that his friend stole his toy. You're so rude. You have other toys. Samuel is like the definition of a bratty child, a bratty only child. Like he steals toys at parks and he runs away and he's such a brat. <laughs> you think you guys all think he's adorable, but he's just a brat. <laughs> anyway, so we have a new friend. Um, sometimes we do Rover. If you guys have ever heard of Rover, it's like a dog sitting company. Um, and we do this so that Samuel can get acquainted with other dogs. Um, because he's such a brat. But anyway, so this uh, couple is going out of town and so we're taking care of their dog who like looks exactly like Samuel. Anyways, just watching Samuel be a brat and be so sad that this other dog took his toy. But let's transition into food. So um, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna be cooking today. And it is creamy ranch chicken and potatoes crock pot. So this is what it looks like. So that's what it's gonna look like. Um, you only need like seven ingredients. So that's a little bit more than I usually like, but it's a good number of ingredients and they're like all big things. So um, the first thing that I need is four chicken breasts. So I have that in my refrigerator. Okay, so I went ahead and got all of my ingredients. I only had three chicken breasts um, thawed, but they're kind of huge, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so then you need ca baby carrots, you need butter, you need milk, which I'm gonna substitute for almond milk, and then you need a dry ranch um, packet. Um, I also have some liners because I don't want my crock pot to get uh, messy, and so that will be super easy. You need a large can of cream of chicken condensed soup, and you need six potatoes, which I grabbed seven because I love potatoes, and also this one is like super tiny. So um, I just went ahead and did that. So um, the first thing that you're supposed to do, let's see, is place cut potatoes and baby carrots at the bottom of the crock pot, layer chicken breast on top of the vegetables. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna cut these really quickly and I believe you only cut them into like fourths because they're gonna be chunky. And then after I cut them, I'll place everything in there. Okay, so I just put in the carrots and potatoes. If you guys saw, I actually cut the potatoes into fourths and then I cut their individual fourth into a fourth just to make them a little bit smaller because they were kind of big. But um, now I need to layer the chicken on top of the carrots. Ah. Ah. Oh, I guess I had uh, three in the same bag. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. Perfect.
Okay, so this is what that mixture now looks like. It was the butter, milk, the ranch packet, and then also um, cream of chicken. So it looks like that. And then the recipe says to pour this evenly over this stuff. So let me see if I can do that with my camera on. <laughs> <laughs> that was really difficult. Let me slow you down. Okay, now it says to cover the crock pot. Okay, so I set the timer. I did slow cook for five hours and I press start and this is what it looks like right now and then it'll change in a few minutes but my uh crock pot is so fancy you guys like my aunt got this for me and um it does so many cool things but i am like beginner cook slash crock pot user so um it says so i never understand like cook on high for seven for five hours because mine doesn't say high or low anywhere so i just like press slow cook and did for five hours so hopefully that works um and in five hours it'll be 8 30 so hopefully it's done by then <laughs> i started a little bit later than i should have but um i think it's cooking i don't know while we wait for the crock pot um i wanted to show you guys this package that i got um at my front door and <laughs> they are just sitting on me right now they're just cozying up next to me <laughs> um, I got it um, at my front door and I'm almost positive that it is my vacuum I ordered a vacuum on Black Friday and it was like a super super good deal and we already have a vacuum but Connor's parents had given us this vacuum and um, and it works great and everything but I realized like a few weeks ago that I might be allergic to dust which is weird, which I never knew. Um, so basically, like, I really love vacuuming. That's like the one thing out of all cleaning that I really love to do. And I was vacuuming at our other house, and, and every time I would vacuum, I would have to stop because my sinuses would hurt so bad, and I like felt like I was gonna sneeze, but I couldn't sneeze, and my head would hurt, and so I'd have to open a window and stop vacuuming, basically, because my like face would start to hurt. Um, um, and so I I thought that that happened to everyone for some reason because I didn't know like being allergic to dust was a thing and so I was sharing this with my friend and she was like you might be allergic to dust because my mom's allergic to dust and then I was like oh okay like I don't even know if I like legitly am but like whenever I vacuum my nose my face starts to hurt so I saw this vacuum and I've been looking at this vacuum for a while because one it has like a pet hair extension and it has like these extensions for cleaning up hair basically for samuel so i knew i really needed it but then also it's hyper hyperallergenic hypoallergenic <laughs> um and so i was like maybe because i'm like allergic to dust who knows if i actually am um that it'll help with that so i think that this is my new vacuum that was a really long story i feel like for a vacuum but anyways, let's open it and see. I'm gonna put you down, put you guys down. Right here. Okay. Ugh. Back up, back up. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> This is not my vacuum. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, so my vacuum was supposed to come with this, but it's actually just dog food. <laughs> it is a, how big is this? It is a 44 pound bag of dog food, <laughs> which means, where's my vacuum? Also, this is a really heavy bag, and so I'm just gonna leave it here because I'm sad. I wanted my vacuum and it's heavy. 
That's why they were smelling it. It all makes sense now. They were just getting, they just got into a fight like a few seconds ago. And I think it's because they were sniffing the dog food and they were fighting over like whose food it was or something. I didn't, they knew before me. Doesn't that look like Samuel? And it's not. There you are, Samuel. You heard your name. Mm, thank you. Okay, okay. Double team, double team, double team. Maybe my vacuum will come later. <laughs> I'll update you guys. Okay, so I just checked my tracking for my vacuum. And just so you guys know, I bought my vacuum and this bag of dog food at the exact same time. And my vacuum's not coming till Monday, so I'm really sad. <laughs> ah, I really hope this crockpot meal tastes good because I need some comfort food right now. I don't know why I'm so sad. <laughs> ah! But Connor is coming home today from like a three day underway. So I'm excited about that, so. So this is how it turned out. It's, I, I wish I would have cut up the chicken more into slices, um, but it looks really delicious. And Connor's here mm. and he's about, he's about to try it too. But I think I'm gonna put some salt on the potatoes. Oh yeah. It's good, ooh. Mm -hmm. I think this dog is farting beside me. <laughs> smells terrible. Okay, I'm gonna try. Were the potatoes too hard? No, they were really soft. Are you sure? Yeah. Mine was, mine was kind of hard. Mm. I think it needs more salt. Let's see the chicken. How does my glasses fall down? Mmm. That's good. Isn't it? Yeah, this is good. Mmm. Probably should have left it in for a little bit longer, but. That's the thing, it's good. Mm hmm. Okay, update. So we just had our dinner, but we weren't able to eat all of it because we realized that the potatoes were kind of hard, the carrots were still pretty hard and like raw tasting. Um, the chicken was like absolutely perfect and very moist. Um, it was just the potatoes and also the carrots. Um, so ours doesn't have the high thing. Um, if you are able to cook it on high, then you need to cook it on seven, eight high level or something um, but if you don't and you slow cook it um, then you need to do it for longer than five hours and this was a slow cooker recipe so I don't know like what that means because <laughs> I did slow cook but anyways um, it definitely needs longer and uh, definitely cook it on high if you have a crock pot that does that so just like an edit that I wanted to throw out there yeah but we kept the leftovers in the crock pot so that they could still like cook I guess um, and in a few hours we'll check it or tomorrow I'll check it and see how they turned out so, but anyways yeah I just wanted to give that update for anybody who wanted to try this meal but anyways yeah thanks for watching this video and see you guys in our next video bye